In this video, I will solve your doubts about how to do Uber Eats without insurance and whether or not it is possible to do this. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the legal requirement, which is to have insurance attributed to your vehicle if you want to use it to make deliveries on Uber Eats and if there is any way to bypass this. So as you might be aware, when you register to become a delivery driver under Uber Eats, you will have to go through a sign-up process. So I've went ahead and I signed into my account on the Uber website. When you select get started and you go through the process, you will need a bunch of things. So you have a background check, you have the waitlist depending on the market where you are trying to apply for, the profile photo, driver's license, and then the most important thing, the vehicle insurance. A lot of people are curious if there is a way to bypass this, because if you don't have the insurance ready to go, they won't allow you in until you actually send the proper document with the uploaded photo here. So, the answer to this question is that legally, it's not possible to do Uber Eats without insurance. In this video, I won't be covering any methods to bypass this because to my knowledge, there aren't any and because of the legal requirement, you cannot do it. I strongly advise against using Uber Eats without proper insurance. If you cannot at all afford to get insurance in any way, method or form, then you can look into alternatives. For example, Amazon Flex or even DoorDash and see if you can register to those services while bypassing the need for for insurance but for uber eats specifically it is a legal requirement in most places and you must have it all driving regardless of whether you're using your car for personal or commercial purposes there is also the financial risk risk where if you get into an accident while driving without insurance you will be personally liable for any damages caused and because of personal safety if you are considering doing uber eats you will need to get the insurance coverage before you actually finish the application process the purpose of this video is not to spread misinformation information and this shouldn't be taken as real legal advice. I'm only doing this video to inform and like I said, I don't intend to spread misinformation, but to answer the question in the title of this video, you are going to need insurance if you want to become an Uber Eats delivery driver. If this video answered any questions that you had, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more very easy tips. Thank you for watching.